Hi everyone, it's Mrs. Brabant and I'm here to share the ruler. And if you're not sure of how to put this together, um, there might be some, I just wanna highlight some things. Uh, you may have gotten a different color from back to school night, but this is a green one. And I already have a bunch of cut, I already have them cut out. And um, I also wanna chat quickly about some things that I noticed when we, ha when we have like a regular ruler, like a regular meter stick. Um, this is just a workaround. We can't really, we don't have enough meter sticks to give out and we'd rather keep those here in school. And this is a good way to kind of get around that. So um, you want to cut them out and try your best to get right up to the edge there. And if you cut a little bit off, that's okay. Like maybe I have an example. Yeah, like this one is right up to the edge. You want those little lines. And so right there is the zero. And you're welcome to cut right at the zero. So I'm just gonna do a snip right now. Like right on that line, if you're really good with your scissors. And I might cut the zero in half, but that's all right, I know it's a zero. So right there. And you can see really close, like I'm right on the line. That way, if I measure something, like I wanna know how long this straw is, I can just go right up to the edge of the paper instead of trying to like get right onto the zero. Right. So, for example, you know, we don't measure like this. Oh, that's the 50 side. That's that's the wrong one. Here we go. We don't take our ruler and measure like this because we're getting extra length that we're not accounting for. We want to get right up to the line there. And if you just want to cut it right there, like this, you know, then that's a little tip, cut it right there. So then, which means your 25 needs to line up with the next 25 centimeters. And I apologize if my video is actually reversed, but we don't glue it or tape it like this. We want to actually over, overlap it. So I'm going to cut one of them. That's my, that's my, where are my scissors? And I'm gonna be careful to make sure I'm right up on the line. So right there, line it up and put some tape or glue there to make sure it's fastened. Of course, this is really awkward to do on the camera, but I just happen to have glue stick handy. I don't know where my tape went. I guess I'm ill prepared for class today. Um, you'd have to let the glue stick dry, of course, really well. I would recommend tape. I just don't have it right now, but you want to get it glued right up there and you want to make sure your ruler's straight. If you can, mine's a little crooked. I can adjust it with the glue. Again, tape's probably better, but you know, we're working with what we got. So Oof, push it down and just be careful because there's two number 25s there, right? So go ahead and go and glue it just like that all the way up to the end. And I'm gonna add the 50, 51, 52, all the way up to the end and let that dry if it's glue or make sure it's nice and straight and make sure it's nice and straight. And at the 100 there, you're welcome to cut that off. So that way it's just like the zero where you can go right up to the end of the ruler. And when you got, there was a hiccup there. I just paused and started my video again. I just glued the whole thing together. So I, you didn't even really need to see me sitting here doing that. But when you glue the whole thing together, I have, oh, this is a little crooked, I'd have to fix that. But I got a nice long meter stick that I can use at home to measure for my science and engineering projects. Yeah, and I'm just gonna adjust to make sure it's nice and straight. We always want a nice straight ruler. Now, um, you know, for engineering, you might use the, a short length, so you might just lay it out so you can just use like up to 30 centimeters, but now you got a nice meter stick for science and engineering. Thanks for watching my video. Subscribe to my channel. Bye.